What are stock splits, and should you be looking for one? I'm Doug Ray, president and founder of the Wealth Guardians and the Ray Financial Group. And I'm Bryce Bain, and you've entered the vault, the Wealth Guardians video series on all things pertaining to retirement planning. In this episode, we're going to talk about stock splits. We're going to define what they are, talk about their history, why they went out of favor years ago, and why they might be coming back in favor now. We'll also talk about what uh, master investor Warren Buffett's thoughts are on them. I'll bring your attention to these like and subscribe buttons down below the screen there. As always, you can click on those if you want to catch future episodes of The Vault with Doug Garrett and myself. All right, let's go ahead and get started on this one, Doug. Uh, stock splits. Okay. Start off by defining them. What are they? Well, there's two types of stock splits. There's a reverse split, and then there's your normal stock split. So let's start with that one first. Let's say a company's board of directors thinks their stock is a little bit too high. Say, say you got a stock that's selling for $100 a share. So they'll declare a two-for-one split, which means the day the stock splits in your account, you'll now have uh, twice as many shares at half the price. So your account value hasn't gone up. It's the same, but the price of the, of the stock has gone down. And Bryce, the reason they do that is because they want to get more stock in more people's hands. And it's easier to buy 50 shares of stock than it is 100 shares of stock. And, um, you know, it's a, a normal thing. Now let's talk about a reverse split. Yeah, and reverse split's just the opposite. It's not really a split. It's more of a meld. Yeah, it, it is. Let's say you got a, a dollar stock, okay, and they do a reverse uh, 100 to 1 split. So now that $1 stock becomes a $100 stock. Now, there's negative connotations about reverse splits because it says that for whatever reason, that company's stock is very low. Could possibly be it's very undervalued or could be a very poor right. performing company. Right. So that's what a split is. Okay. Now, they used to be more popular, and then they fell out of popularity. Let's talk about that. Why did they, you know, back in the 70s and 80s, we saw it happening all the time. Why in the last 15, 20 years or so have we seen them tend to go out of favor? Well, you know, that's a, that's a question that's been debatable over the years. Um, one theory is that many years ago, back when I got into the business, uh, you typically bought stock in what's called round lots or 100 shares at a time. And, um, you know, when you had an odd lot, which is less than 100, back in those days, they would put like a surcharge for them. Yeah. And, and plus commissions on them. Nowadays, there's virtually no commissions at all on buying and trading stocks. Uh, you could even buy one or two shares and not pay a, a surcharge. So I think over the years, that's one reason why you know, they, they come out of favor. Uh, the other reason is the, the board of directors thinks that, you know, big share price, it's a, kind of a status symbol. Right. Uh, NVIDIA, $1,200 a share. Right. Like that. So uh, that's one reason why it's coming back in the popularity. It's a good question. You know, there was and is a trading strategy around splits. Uh, a trader, for example, once a company announces its split, would go out and buy that company's stock and hold it through the split. More times than not, after the split, the price of the shares rose because more people could afford to buy it. Sure. So that's uh, that's one reason for it. The other reason, we're going to talk about your favorite investor. Hey, Warren. Warren Buffett. Uncle Buffett. Warren was never a fan of splits or dividends for that matter. In fact, right now, his Berkshire Hathaway A share stock is $625,000 a share. Yeah, you heard me, $625,000 a share. Bryce, if you bought a round lot of 100 shares of that, it's going to set you back $62.5 million. Yeah, I've been debating on whether or not to buy a lot of those. Yeah. So, okay. So perhaps Warren just likes uh, to have the people invested in his company be the uh, the uber rich. Yes. He doesn't want to have to deal with uh, the amateur investor getting in, into his company. The institutional. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he could even have the option of taking that off the uh, public market and just have private investors. Yeah. All right. 
So anything else to add about uh, about Squiz? Did that cover it? What you doing? Myself? I think we covered everything about. Okay, so there you go. We talked about the history, the definition, and what, of course, if it's important to you, what Warren Buffett thinks of stock splits. Again, I'll bring your attention to these like and subscribe buttons down below the screen there. Go ahead and click on those if you want to catch future episodes of The Vault with Doug Garrett and myself moving forward. At any rate, this has been The Vault. I'm Bryce Payne. I'm Doug Wright. Catch you next time.